Hi guys, it's Sunday the 24th of June at 10.15 at night. Um, I've been wanting to do this video since Thursday, but uh, I needed a few days to myself. Um, and it's still hard for me to do this video even today. Thursday morning I found out that a very close friend of mine had taken his own life. He was found in the early hours of Thursday morning by another friend of ours. He was found in his flat. I'm not going to say how he did it. But, uh, yeah. We were close. We were very close. He's probably one of my closest friends. You know? He was there when I needed someone. When I was homeless. He was always there when I needed a shoulder. And I was always there for him when he needed to vent. You know? I don't know why he done it. I mean, I saw him a couple of weeks ago and he looked his usual bubbly self. He seemed his usual bubbly self. And everyone I've spoken to because I've told a few others as well that knew him and were friends with him. Um, in fact, one of them was, is an old school friend of mine and he said he saw him just a few days ago and he even he said he looked absolutely fine. You would have never have known there was anything going on in his head. Um, but I do remember about a month ago he told me he'd broken up with his now ex-partner and she wouldn't let him see the kids um, which actually made my angry made me angry rather not my angry because um, he was a good bloke bloke you know we called him Big Rick because well he was like six foot five tall you know he was a really tall bugger and as we say over here, he was built like a brick shit house. I mean, I'm not a small guy, I'm pretty heavy, and he could bench press me without even breaking a sweat. There was one time, because we met on a course, we were both doing like a compulsory course for the job centre. I'm going back to about 2002, something like that. Um, and we're on this course, we had chairs like this, you know, the office chairs. And he would pick that up and the, me sitting in the chair and walk me across the office. Huzzah! Like, uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> Good timing, Luna. You know, without breaking a sweat, he had a lot of strength and a lot of brawn. You know, and he would always stick up for his friends. You know, he would not tolerate anyone bullying his friends. Um, you know, he'd stuck up for me a couple of times as well. So, and now he's gone. And I never, ever, ever dreamed that I would have to make such a video. I've seen people do videos on YouTube where they've lost relatives, mothers, um, wives. You know, I've seen all those sorts of videos from subscribe or people I'm subscribed to. Never dreamed that I would actually do it myself. I even hear on Facebook, you know, where people have lost friends to suicide and whatnot. Never thought I'd end up in the same situation. I don't know what else to say. Yes, I will be attending his funeral. 
I've already had the uh, invite from his sister. Uh, and invite to the wake as well. No, I've never done a funeral before, but I'm pretty certain the wakes are usually reserved for those close friends and relatives, you know. Um, I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot there because he did, does or did originate from Essex. Uh, <laughs> he's got a lot of family and a lot of close family, so I'm expecting there to be quite a lot of people there. Um, I'm going to keep the date to myself. Um, Yeah, I'll keep a date to myself, and the time, and the place. I don't want to share such information, not without, you know, his parents' permission. Heck, we used to go at car boots together. Me, him, and his parents, we'd all bundle in the car and go at car boots. <laughs> then family happened, you know. He got a girlfriend, got his own flat. The usual, <laughs> had a kid, a poor kid now, but I'm not angry at him, I'm not angry at him because I don't know what was going through his mind, all I know is you know he'd gone through this breakup and that the, the mother of his child wouldn't let him see the kid. And I can only guess, you know, that, that got to him. I, I don't know what else, if he was in any debts or anything, I don't know. There could have been a multitude of things. But as they say, it's the ones that don't talk about committing suicide that actually go and do it. So I can actually say I've had one friend attempt it and fail, and one friend actually uh, succeed. And actually my other friend that attempted it and failed is my um, friend over in France. And if it wasn't for me actually persuading him to call an ambulance, you know, and get him seen to, he wouldn't be here. Um, end off, he wouldn't be here. Uh, we were playing a, a game called Fercadia and one night he came on very distressed very upset and actually confessed he'd uh, cut his wrists and uh, yeah I managed to persuade him to call an ambulance and he did and I have to admit even though at that point we had not met in person, you know, we'd only met through this online game called Fercadia, you know, through our characters, but I did feel pretty close, you know, we did chat about real life stuff a lot. And I admit, I worried for the three or four days he was offline, wondering if I was actually going to see him again, if he was actually, you know, if he hadn't bled out. So, yeah. I guess in a way with Rick, Rick was the friend that uh, took his own life last Thursday. I feel a little bit guilty as well, because I feel like I could, well, I could have prevented it if I was there. But then again, I guess as I had no idea that he was even planning this, how could anyone have stopped it? None of us could have. But anyway, I just want to get this video done. So uh, I apologise for the pauses and the weeping, but... <sighs> I 
actually fried and I actually had anger as well which I've actually taken out on the PC because I've got a big hole in the side panel although the fan doesn't rattle anymore because it doesn't exist <laughs> so I've cured that problem my temper cured the annoying rally fan anyway thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll talk to you very soon.